creativity can't be held within four walls. You have to look outside of your subject because that's the only way you're going to grow within the boundaries of what you can do. We've gone through industrial revolutions, we've gone through tech revolutions, we've gone through dot-com revolutions, but I think we're in a period where we're in a creative revolution, where it's, it's looking at all of those things together and finding the imaginative route forward. Collaboration really is the only way to keep discovering. And here, you are encouraged to do that. Architecture and car design students and industrial design students, they all think very differently about the space. Someone in the world of fashion has a very different perception of how we feel within a space that we live. Immediately you're impacted by colour combinations. You know, you're looking round and seeing the pinks and the reds and the whites and how they're sitting together, how an unnatural green works with the natural green of a plant. For me, that's what inspiration is. Look at the shape and the language of modern day buildings that are incredibly organic in their language. And a lot of that has come through the discovery of someone from one field going into another and saying, why can't I do that shape? To be involved with a series of apartments in Miami with G&G &G, has just been incredible. How it's oriented, how it's designed, is all to do with the science of wind and cooling and having the maximum vista points for all of the apartments within the building. It's really about developing and designing the feeling, the craftsmanship of what Aston Martin is in a series of apartments, creating something that leaves you with a wow. And that's very much what the building in Miami will be. However much we evolve technology, we ourselves, as human beings, have this incredible ability to see craftsmanship, to feel craftsmanship, to see the beauty of a material. And that's why I think luxury is, for me, always going to be about the person. But there's always going to be something visceral in our lives, and I think that's, that's luxury. That's texture, that's feeling. You're in awe of how something was created and that's why we love art. Mm -hmm.